Just let go of the mallet, okay? Is he over 18? I want to lock um, it up now. Yes. See what she did? He has to sign some papers. Yeah, He's in no condition to yeah, sign anything. Well, we can't to hospitalize him without doctor. informed consent. And what am I He's not coherent. I need a parent's signature. Huh? Huh? Tell me that. Now, Mrs. Page, give me the mallet, okay? Listen, Smarty, you just lock her up first. I'll give you the mallet. You're causing a disturbance. Commit my papers. Here, I'll show you a disturbance. Give me my mallet back. No. I want my mallet. Okay, we'll find out exactly what happened, but we'll find out calmly, all right? Just now let go of the mallet. Mm -hmm. It's my mallet. I want it back. No. Give me the mallet. I want Can it. Can I some assistance here, please? Give me my mallet. No. Where's the police? We need the police here. Code 3. Why aren't the police here? Code 3. I know what's oh, going on here. I know we need help. Where's the mallet? Come on, there's death in here. I can smell it. There's death in here. I can smell it. I can smell it. I can smell it. Come on, buddy, it's gonna be all right. sit alone in that hospital 24 hours a day with nobody to talk to. He can't reach out to us if we're not there. I, I just can't stand around there and not do anything. I, I can't see him like that. I don't know how to help him. I don't either, Michael. But we've got to try. He's our son. He's not going to slip away from us. We can't let him. I just can't. I'm sorry. If there's a problem, I'll make a note of it. Well, he has trouble walking, and he's always thirsty. I'll put it on his shirt. It could be his medicine. Well, would his medicine do that? Look, I'm not a doctor. I'll make a note of it. Thank you. Just a silly phase I'm going through And just because I call you up Don't get me wrong Don't think you got it made I'm not in love No, no Just leave me alone. I don't understand. What's wrong? Just get out of here. I don't want you here. Get out. And what's wrong? Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, what's up? Tell her to leave me alone. All right, all right. Just tell her nice. She'll hear you. She won't listen to me. She never listens to me. Get her out! I'm sorry, Miss Zeaton. Maybe you could come back later. I don't want you back. Don't come back, you hear? Don't ever come back. I don't want to see you again. Leave. You think I like it in here? It's your fault you put me in here. Go home. Go home. Tell Dad I said hi, huh? Leave. I hate it. I hate you. Leave. Owen is angry right now, but you're just going to have to let him go through this. But you didn't hear the way he screamed at me. He told me to get out. He said it was all my fault. All right, okay, but he said it was my fault, too. I, he's in a lot of pain right now. He's not going to take responsibility for that. He's going to blame it on anybody he can. I took his drugs away from him, and there's nothing to protect him anymore. No, you took his medication Listen, away. Wait, wait, wait. Now, tranquilizers are drugs, and your son's been on them for a couple of months. Now, when he was violent, he had to be sedated. But when he came home, he should have been fine. He wasn't fine. He fell apart. Right. And the first thing he did was to reach for Valley. Now, somebody doesn't do that unless I have a real good idea how that drug's going to help him. Are you suggesting that our son is a drug addict? No, no. Drug addiction is a whole different thing. That's a physical need for a drug. I'm talking about an emotional need, a drug dependence. I don't care what you call it. Owen is a good boy. He comes from a good family. I'm not questioning that, Mrs. E. Drug abuse hits a lot of good families. I'm only asking you to deal with this, that's all. Just like I'm asking your son. He is not dealing with it. He is in worse shape now than he ever was in the hospital. All right, look, I think the best thing to do right now is to not visit him. Let me work with him, okay? Once he starts to open up, I'll get him into group. And if that goes okay, I can set up sessions for the whole family. What? You're going to have to sit down and talk about why this happened. No. No. Absolutely not. This family has been through enough. Mrs. Eaton, you've got to trust me. We have been trusting doctors for the last nine weeks, and all I can see is that my son is still sick. I understand that, but there's a lot at stake here. What do you have at stake here? Uh, nothing. If this family falls apart, you have nothing to lose, but we have everything to lose. And I'm not going to risk it by having my family go through what I went through this afternoon. Is that how you feel, too? Well, I don't know. She's been through hell the past couple of months. Now you're asking her to go through more. I'm asking you to go through it, too. Owen needs everybody right now, not just his mother.
get me wrong. 